Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for FXD79.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a uh, Gmod 10 server, and uh, that way other people can connect and play with you uh, on your server. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to be using uh, a wiki issue or article um, on the Gmod wiki um, because it has all the code on it, and it's really easy to copy and paste. So first, what we need to do is go to store.steampower.com. Did not mean to do that. It's the the page that you see when you um, when you go into Steam. Um, it's the same page. So um, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, hit Tools, and then download the Windows HLDS Update Tool. Just save it, and you're gonna run it and hit Next. I agree. After you read it, and then you're gonna change the destination folder to C. Uh, colon slash SRCDS. Uh, it's very important. Uh, make sure you install that directory. Um, what did it just say? Yeah, um, I've already installed there, so I'm not going to do it uh, again. But once you do, if you go to that directory, you'll have something that looks like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, open a CMD file command prompt Oops. and by the way you are gonna need um, Steam and you're gonna need to have Gary's mod installed on your computer for this to work you won't need to be signed in but you will need to have it installed so it can uh, read all the files so what we're gonna do is uh, CD into the the uh, folder the SRCDS folder and that means change directory right now we're in the C colon slash user slash administrator directory which is the default um, but we're going to change directory into um, the other folder so that it can read the files that we need it to or it can see them so now we're inside of that folder and we're just going to type hlds update tool and it's going to download all that so sometimes um, it'll take like a minute or two but since I've already done it it just loads it all up so we'll just go ahead and close out of that and then we're gonna make a batch file installer to install all the files um, so we'll just copy this code from the website and I'll go through what that does we're gonna make a new text file on your doc on your desktop so just call it like update or something then open it up and paste that code in and what we're going to do is make sure the uh, directory is right if you changed it, which you shouldn't have, but if you did, change it here so it works. And then what we're going to do is uh, it's going to install all these games uh, and their components so that you can run them on the server. Um, so, yeah, um, all we need to do is hit save as. And then we're going to save it as uh, all files and then say update.bat and hit save and then that'll create a new file on your desktop called update.bat if you were to look at it but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and open this up and this is going to check if we have the installation if it's not we're gonna it's going to install the orange box files which is a uh, team fortress counter-strike source Gary's mod I think that's what it is it's like yeah um, so it's gonna start downloading uh, all these uh, classes, maps, graphics, models, materials, uh, everything you need to run on your server uh, from one of their servers and installing it um, onto your computer. This can take up to like half an hour, um, so I would advise go get something to eat or something while you're doing it. Um, and once it's done, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so about 20 minutes later, once you get this message, uh, update installation complete, your server is now ready to use, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you're good to go. Hit any key and it will close. And then what you can do is, um, first of all, we're going to go to the um, the uh, default gateway address so that um, we can uh, forward some ports so that people connect to the server. So to find your default gateway, just go to um, start menu, type in CMD or do that and run. Then type in ipconfig and it will come up with the IPv4 address it's like right here um, and for me that's it, er, sorry not the IPv4 um, the default gateway um, so for me that's this address right here 
You just type that into your browser and it takes you here. And then you would go to virtual servers or port forwarding or open ports. Um, you can just search your um, your router's name and then port forwarding on Google and you'll get a very in-depth tutorial on how to uh, do that. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I already have uh, a Gmod 1 set up on my other computer, which runs a Gmod server uh, constantly. Um, but if you don't, what you're going to want to do is find the IPv4. On this computer, it's 2.5, but on the other computer, it's 4, so I'm just going to leave it the same. Um, so you would type in the one, the um, address of the computer that you want it to open on, then select UDP, that's very important, and then 27015, 27015, just fill in all the boxes with 27015. Um, so you can get a good look at that, just copy it over, hit apply changes or save or whatever, and you're good to go. So, now what we're going to do is go to the place where we saved, um, and that's, uh, again, C drive SRCDS. Then you're going to go into the new orange box folder that created these two folders right here. Um, and you're going to go into orange box, and you're going to find this SRCDS uh, executable file. We're going to right click it and hit send to desktop. And we'll just rename this uh, start server so we can remember what it is. We can delete this file. By the way, you're going to want to keep this because uh, you can run it and it will uh, re-download the new updates so you want to make, make me run it like every week or so because um, Gmod does update very very often um, so now we're going to right click on the start server hit properties and add game Gary's mod to the end of it All right, and we're going to hit apply ok and then we can double click it and uh, select the Gary mod, Gary's mod from the list uh, it, you can do it on all, but if you're gonna do Gary's mod, you should select that. And we'll do servers mod or server name. We'll just do effects dude seventy nine. Select your map. You can change those. Just go to um, the Gary's mod folder inside Orange Box, and then put uh, maps inside this folder. And then you can see we already have these two. And then you can also put in materials, <clears throat> anything else you want. For instance, you can put in the uh, Phoenix pack um, in there uh, because that's kind of necessary for most people. Um, and that will make them download it when they uh, get into your server. Um, and then if you select Internet, anybody who's connected to the Internet will be able to search and find your server. Um, and LAN stands for local area network. That just means anybody who's connected to your Wi-Fi address or... Um, from your router will be able to do it. So we'll just get on the internet. I would set the max players to something really low for, you know, if you have a if you have a good computer. I mean, this is a pretty good computer. It's a really nice computer, um, but I'm going to leave it at 5. That way it doesn't, like, crash. Here you can see the UDP port, and we're going to set the Archon password. So we'll just set this as FXDude79. You're going to want to set this as something secure, not that. Um, so uh, set it as something secure so you can remotely access your server and you're the only one that can change it. I would put it on secure and we're just going to start server. Um, there is no progress bar so don't freak out if you don't see a progress bar. Um, it is loading the server and just allow it if it lets you. And you're going to get this error uh, the first time you run it. Just hit OK and you're going to get it again. Hit OK again and you're good to go. Um, and that's all you have to do. And then we'll open up with a little uh, window right here, and you'll be able to see all the uh, variables and their values, and then you can configure them. So, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's awesome. Um, so you can just edit these, and you're good to go. And statistics, you can see what you want to see, frame rate, whatever, um, players, you can see the bands and then the console, so you can say, you know, like, say, I like cake, and it will say that, and that shows up in the chat, and you can also do, like, ban IP, or ban ID, or really whatever you want to do, um, it, it just shows up if you type it in, you can get all the uh, commands. So that's pretty much it. Um, to connect, all you would have to do is go into Gary's Mod, and then select a local area network and you'll find your server there. And 
it, uh, for other people to connect to it, your friends on Steam, just open a chat window with them, and then when you connect to the server, it'll send them a little uh, saying that says, so-and-so is playing Gary's Mod, click here to join. They can click that, and they're good to go. And uh, I probably just said good to go a lot, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it's a lot of fun. People do connect to this, so if you want to play with some people, here you go. Uh, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace. Here's a quick video, by the way, on uh, how to uh, connect. So you can kind of get a visualization, visualization, visual, fail, visualization, there we go, fail. Alright, uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.